and welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. Well, from the ads to the halftime performances, this year's Super Bowl had it all, but it was the addition of Miley Cyrus before the game that really had fans rocking out the singer, bringing out Billy Idol for this classic that I'm sure everyone remembers. But I do have to say the night truly belonged to The weekend, who filled his 13-minute live halftime performance with all of his biggest hits. That was including Starboy, The Hills and Can't Feel My Face, ending on this TikTok favourite as fireworks lit up the Tampa Bay sky. Now, the star-studded commercials didn't fail to impress either. There was everyone from Gwen Stefani, Blake Shelton, Ryan Reynolds, and even a Wayne's World revamp, while Drake even made a small appearance. Look, guys, I don't even have a stand-in. Of course you do. Hold on. Is that Drake? That's right. Drake from State Farm. Now, the game itself saw the Tampa Bay Buccaneers claim their second Super Bowl title. They nudged out the Kansas City at 31-9, to Tom Brady snagging his seventh Super Bowl ring. To other news now, a New South Wales origin star, Payne Haas, has been slapped with a maximum penalty by the NRL, and that was after his foul-mouthed tirade at police. The Broncos forward will now miss three rounds and be fined $50,000. A person has tested positive for COVID three days after leaving hotel quarantine. They'd actually tested negative twice while they were 14 days in isolation. Then they returned a week positive after returning to Wollongong. New South Wales Health are now investigating this because there are possibilities of how they became infectious. It's as Victorian health authorities aren't sure how a second hotel quarantine worker was infected with COVID. They've got their CCTV footage showing that no rule breaches happened. The worker is now helping out with contact tracing. More than 100 contact and colleagues are also isolating. The Federal Health Minister says he is not concerned at all about the effectiveness of the AstraZeneca vaccine against mutant virus strains. And new guidelines have now been issued to improve the safety for food delivery riders. Taking a look at sport, and Aya Tom Lanovich and Alex Bolt have won through to the second round of the Australian Tennis Open at Melbourne Park. Earlier, John Millman lost in five to his French opponent. Now to entertainment news and stay on the Super Bowl, Toronto officials are so proud of Native Son the weekend they've actually given the Canadian his own day and that happened just hours before he headlined the Super Bowl halftime show. Their Prime Minister Justin Trudeau also tweeted his congratulations. Rafe Fiennes would like to train the next James Bond with Daniel Craig set to exit the lead role after No Time to Die is released. The actor who plays Mallory, the head of MI6 in the film series, is very keen to continue his role even after Daniel's departure from the franchise. And that is the latest from the Nova Podcast News team, but we will see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.